वेलकम टू रमज़ान बयालोजी लेक्चर्स प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब एंड आल्सो प्रेस द बिल आइकन टू रिसीव अपडेट्स ऑफ माय लेक्चर Assalamu alaikum welcome back to another video in this lecture we will talk about the histology of pancreas actually pancreas is a gland digest gland present in the uh, abdominal cavity just below the stomach this below the stomach and under the uh, liver and in the c are shape arrangement of the first part of the small intestine the duodenum and actually the pancreas is about 60 g weight in an adult man and if you talk about its length so its length is about from 12 to 15 cm long okay it is 12 to 15 cm long and pancreas is a double gland it is also called heterocrine gland because it also contain the exocrine portion and also contain the endocrine portion it also serve as is a crinely and also serve as endocrinely the exocrine portion of the uh, pancreas serve for the gi tract the digestive system while the endocrinely is serve for uh, maintaining the blood glucose level so today we will talk about the main histology of pancreas okay so pancreas is divided into three part you can see here the first broad part this broad part this broad part is called the head of the pancreas while this uh, elongated part elongated part this is called from here to here this is called the body of the pancreas while this tail this is called this is called the tail of the pancreas okay and this pancreas is also associated with the liver secretion we say that liver secrete the bile juice into the uh, uh, small intestine uh, through the pancreatic mass and then it does the digestion of the fats so let's come the how it is secreted by the uh, pancreas pancreatic mass so liver contain two duct system this one is called the right hepatic duct right hepatic duct is called right hepatic duct this is called left hepatic duct okay right and left hepatic duct mixed together and form common hepatic duct common hepatic duct okay while from this is called the gall bladder this is the gall bladder from the gall bladder there is the cystic duct so when the cystic duct and the common hepatic duct mixed together it forms common bile duct it forms common bile duct firstly right hepatic duct and left hepatic duct mixed together form common hepatic duct when the common hepatic duct mix with the cystic duct from the uh, gall bladder it form common bile duct and this common bile duct goes just uh, behind the first part of the duodenum and this enter into the mass of the pancreas and this portion and then it mix with the uh, pancreatic juice in the major pancreatic duct you can see here this is called the major pancreatic duct and the major pancreatic duct carries the digestive enzymes from every part of the pancreas and the uh, bile coming through the common bile duct mixes with the pancreatic juices and then it uh, in empties into the first part of the duodenum at the point of ampulla of filter this portion is called ampulla of filter ampulla of filter okay this portion is called ampulla of filter and of course there are some muscles this you can see here these muscles these muscles are called sphincter of odi these muscles are called sphincter of odi 
and these muscles are involved in a very basic uh, uh, function that they prevent the secretion of the pancreatic juice and the secretion of common bile duct. So when the pancreatic duct and common bile duct mix together, it forms a common pancreatic hepatic duct. Common pancreatic hepatic duct. So the common pancreatic hepatic duct mix together, then and then they enter into the first part of the duodenum through the sphincter of OD into the ampulla of fetal. This ampulla of fetal also prevent the reflex movement of the uh, common hepat common pancreas to hepatic duct juices and back into the pancreas. So this is involved in the back flow also and also the the uh, safe safe secretion of the common pancreas to hepatic duct contained into the duodenum. So therefore, they are very basic sphincter muscles. Okay. Now we will talk about the mainly the exocrine portion. So first we will talk about that uh, uh, how there are some cells. You can see here these cells, these red cells. They are clumped together. Clumped together. They are form like a tree branches. So the tree branches. These cells are called the acinar cells and these cells serve as a exocrine function of the pancreas. While you can see here that these green cells, uh, these green cells, these serve as the endocrine function and uh, you can see here this zoom in picture of the, these cells that these cells are called, this whole cell, I have zoom in and this whole cell is called eyes, eyelids of Langerhans, it's called eyelids of Langerhans and this cell is the combination of three three types of cell then uh, there are beta cells alpha cell and also the delta cell the uh, we will talk about this in another lecture now we will only focus our study toward the exocrine person so you can see here this branch is like tree like structure these are called the SNS cells and they are involved in the secretion of digestive enzymes which does the uh, breaking down of the poor molecules in the duodenum. So okay this is the this is the major pancreatic duct and then they enter into the enter lower duct so this is called the major major pancreatic duct this is called major pancreatic duct the major pancreatic duct then enter into the enter lower duct enter lower duct this enter low product then enter into lubule and this these lubule this is also a lubule this is called enter lubular duct enter lubular duct this is also enter lubular duct and then enter lubular duct drain into enter clated duct this is called this enter clated duct and then the enterclated duct enter into the main SNR cells which is involved in the secretion of different types of digestive enzymes. So okay, enterclated duct enter into the SNR cells and the SNR cell is the combination of uh, different um, pyramidal epithelial cells which does the secretion uh, which does the uh, um, permission and the secretion of different digestive enzymes so when the uh, stimulus come it secretes these uh, uh, digestive enzymes into the lumen of the acyl cell and these intercalated duct have some un uh, usual unique uh, uh, pictures then in other ducts if we talk about the periodic uh, duct in other duct in our body, the last duct should start from here. This start from here, but the usual and unusual and the unique 
picture of the uh, SSL of the pancreatic uh, pancreas is that that these enterocleaves the enter into the lumen of the pancreas uh, SNR cells and this is like that uh, um, this enterocleaves duct is like a straw and this whole is in the like a balloon you put a, a extra a, a balloon and then you from your you can drink it so the is integrated duct is like a straw and then uh it's necessary is like a balloon from you your you can drink okay now this is a collection of different uh, uh pyramid uh, cells now the integrated duct is containing of very basic important function there the stimulus occur there mainly the, the digestive enzyme are secreted by digestive enzymes and the protection enzyme or we can say the protection function of the pancreas is done through the enterocleaves duct while the digestive enzymes are secreted by the snr cells okay so now the enterocleaves duct are stimulated by the secreting cells of the stomach a uh, small intestine so who stimulated intercreated duct the secretin 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 stimulate the intercreated duct which secrete hcu3 hcu3 which are bicarbonate and it is also stimulated by stimulated by acetyl Choline, acetyl choline also stimulate intercreated duct to secrete HCO3 bicarbonate ion. So, in the SNR cell is stimulated stimulated by also by acetyl choline, acetyl choline which is from the blood side. And if we talk about the pyramidal cell, so in the pyramidal cell the Apical side, the narrow side of the pyramidal cell is toward the lumen, while the broad basal side is toward the bloodstream. And from the bloodstream, stercoline is a st a stimulate the uh, pyramidal uh, epithelial cell to secrete profuse amount of digestive enzyme. Okay, so. Now the secretin cell are secreted mainly by the uh, stomach by, by by the small intestine cell. So the small intestine secrete the secretin. Secretin are they are secreted by the uh, small intestine. So then this uh, secretin uh, moves through the uh, major pancreas uh, pancre duct and enter into the uh, enter uh, lobular duct and enter lower duct and then into the lobular duct and then enter into the intercleated duct and then enter the intercleated duct it stimulate the uh, cells of the intercleated duct you can see uh, these uh, black cells and then it produce profuse amount of uh, alkaline secretion which then goes through uh, through the major pancreatic duct and again enter into the small intestine the duodenum which does a very important function okay what is the function of the bicarbonate hcu3 so when the food enter into the small into the uh, stomach so in the stomach there are this there is enzyme called as the pepsinogen which is then egg to pepsin so pepsin is involved in the pepsin pepsin is normally functioning the optimum ph of the optimum pH in which the pepsin can work is the acidic. So pepsin can work pepsin. Pepsin can work in acidic medium. Okay. Acidic medium is responsible for normal functioning of the pepsin. And then and this acidic medium is given by the HCl. HCl gave this acidic medium. So now when the Food is now converted into a chyme like structure. So the chyme is mainly acidic chyme. The chyme is a acidic chyme because they contain profuse amount of HCl. So now 
this enter into the uh, duodenum so in the duodenum there is a secretion of pancreatic uh, enzyme the uh, trypsinogen and the chymotrypsinogen a lot we talked about uh, uh, later so now these uh, these enzyme cannot work in acidic medium and these enzyme uh, should to uh, increase of the uh, ph of the chyme in order to function normally so the optimum ph of the pancreatic enzyme uh, is needed the alkaline ph so now in order to alkaline the chyme the intercreatic duct secrete the uh, SU3 bicarbonate which neutralizes the chyme and convert it into the alkaline form. It increases its pH because the pH of the chyme is uh, about 2 to 3. So now the uh, pH of the chyme should to increase off and make it the uh, alkaline chyme. So it should be normal functioning uh, it should be uh, breaking down break down by the uh, pancreatic enzyme properly so therefore the intercalated duct are stimulated by the secretin in order to secrete the hco3 bicarbonate ion in order to neutralize the chyme and convert it into an alkaline form in order to pancreatic enzyme can work properly okay and this secretin cannot stimulate the acinar cells and therefore acetylcholine can stimulate this acinar cell while the secretin cannot stimulate uh, the acinar cells and so this was about the acinar uh, cells if you talk about the uh, microscopic about the S one epithelial uh, cell so this one epithelial cell is contain of profuse amount of the uh, rep endoplasmic reticulum and a lot of ribosome because these are the cells which are involved in the profuse in the uh, secretion in the uh, synthesis of a lot of proteins or uh, enzymes so the enzyme of protein so the structure of these cell is just like those cell which are involved in a large amount of protein synthesis so therefore in these cells you can see here in this picture that the nucleus this black is the nucleus the nucleus is pushed a little toward the basal side and the cell contain a lot the cell contain a lot amount of the uh, rep endoplasmic reticulum which are loaded uh, with the ribosome so rep endoplasmic reticulum are loaded by the ribosome and of course there are also some pre ribosome so the pre ribosome and the rep endoplasmic ro uh, loaded with the uh, ribosome they can be seen in this picture like these are called basophilia the, these are called these black portion these are called black uh, lines they are called basophilia and mainly the uh, these are the combination of ribosomes and rep endoplasmic reticulum and of course here uh, the uh, mitochondria are, are present in every part of the cell you can see uh, these are the mitochondria okay and plus there is a prominent big structure you can see here this uh, um, this yellow portion this is called Golgi of fertus and of course there this Golgi of fertus can be seen in these cells this is prominent visible you can see here okay so when the message comes through the messenger RNA from the nucleus and it stimulate uh, the um, synthesis of the peptide chain by the ribosome with the help of proper endoplasmic reticulum so then the uh, endoplas endoplasmic reticulum send these peptide chain and to the uh, Golgi periods where in the Golgi periods these peptide chains are again modified and these are converted into um, vesicle like structure these vesicles are called as you call zymogen vesicle these are called as a zymogen vesicle and as you call a secretory vesicle and before when these peptide chains were synthesized these were not these all were pro enzyme 
prove peptide chains so they are now modified and they are converted into zymogen vesicle and then when the stimulus comes these are present in this portion so when the stimulus comes to secrete the different digestive enzymes of here into the uh, duodenum so in the time these zymogen vesicles are then secreted out of the uh, cub cubital epithelial cells through the apical site so this was about uh, the essential cell of the that how the essential cells are stimulated and another that the acet acetylcholine can stimulate the essential cell or uh, and there is another uh, this is an, another uh, another chemical which also stimulate the secretion of digestive enzyme and this is called cholecystokinin cholecystokinin and this cholecystokinin is secreted by the eye cell of the intestine so what occur the t s cell of the intestine secrete secretin and this secretin stimulate the intercalated duct of the uh, pancreatic pancreas which secrete bicarbonate ion and the eye cell of the small intestine secrete cholecystokinin which which stimulate essential cells of the uh, pancreas to secrete profuse amount of the digestive enzyme while the acetylcholine can stimulate both uh, essential cell and also intercalated duct so and this is acetylcholine is mainly from parasympathetic nervous system okay so this was about the how the cell are stimulated when uh, how they are uh, they they produce their uh, secre secre synthesis their secretion and how they secrete their secretion okay so now we we'll talk about that which enzyme they secrete and where they secrete and uh, uh, how they synthesis these enzymes okay If we talk about the uh, enzyme secreted by the pancreatic duct, so there are uh, several enzymes which are secreted by the essential cells of the pancreas, and there they are different for different uh, food particles. So, if we talk about the protein, so uh, for the protein, there are two types of uh, um, enzymes secreted. Of course, they are for the protein. Okay. For the protein, there are two types of enzyme. One is the endopeptidase, peptide, peptidase. Second is the exopeptidase. Endopeptidase are two: trypsinogen and chymotrypsinogen. While the exopeptidase are also two: procarboxyl peptidase and proamino proamino peptidase. Endopeptidase mean if we talk uh, that this is a uh, peptide chain of uh, protein, this is a chain. So in this chain, when this when the trypsinogen uh, attack on this protein peptide chain and cut this into amino acid chains and between. These enzymes are called endopeptidase enzymes. So trypsinogen is also endopeptidase and chymotrypsinogen is also endopeptidase. But the but before trypsinogen is also inactive, they are inactive, you can see here, gene fart. And chymotrypsinogen is also inactive. There also gene for so before in order to make it active for the uh, processing of the um, degrading of the large protein molecules, they should be firstly converted in active form. So in order to uh, convert in into active form, there is another enzyme present in the uh, small intestine just in front of the uh, sphincter of artery, the pancreatic duct, and this enzyme is called. 
Enterokinase. Enterokinase enzyme. This enzyme convert the trypsinogen into the trypsin. So of course, if I, if I take there as the trypsin, trypsinogen comes out. So trypsinogen. So the enterokinase act on it and convert it into trypsin. Trypsin act to form. So convert into trypsin act to form. Then trypsin are able to act on the large protein molecules and convert it into peptide chain or the amino acid chain in the duodenum. Now the trypsin is also uh, able to convert the chymotrypsinogen into uh, chymotrypsin. So they also act on the uh, chymotrypsinogen and convert into chymotrypsin. So they also can convert into chymotrypsin. Okay. So now the converting of the enzyme is increased. Okay. Now the second one is the exopeptidase. So exopeptidase mean the breaking down of the protein molecule and sides. So on both the ends, these two, uh, these two enzymes degrade the large protein molecule on both sides. And if the enzyme act on the uh, carboxyl side, the protein carboxyl side, so this that enzyme we call as a carboxyl peptidase. While if the enzyme act on the uh, amino side, so the enzyme is called proamino peptidase. And this enzyme is also inactive. You can see here that this pro part, this pro part should be removed in order to make the enzyme active. So therefore, it is also converted into active form by the action of the enterokinase and also by the action of the active trypsin. Okay. So, endopeptidase is involved in the uh, middle degrading of the large protein molecule into chain of amino acid which are trypsin and chymotrypsin while the exopeptidase is on the side as if the enzyme act on the carboxyl side so the enzyme called carboxyl peptidase while if it act on the uh, amino so this is called amino peptidase for the pets pancreas secrete two uh, enzyme one is called the pancreatic lipase second is called cholesterol esterase so mainly these two enzymes mixed together with the bile bile comes through the common bile duct from the liver so when the bile mixes with the pancreatic lipase and cholesterol esterase so then the pancreatic lipase can work easily and convert the large pets into the uh, uh, triglyceride into fatty acid and smaller pets molecule okay for the carbohydrate the uh, pancreas secrete amylase and this amylase is more stronger in the, than the petylase secreted in our mood. So the uh, amylase convert the large carbohydrate into disaccharide and monosaccharide. Convert into disaccharide and monosaccharide. Par the nucleic acid because the food also contains some nucleic acid and the pancreas, pancreas secrete two types of enzyme if there is DNA. The pancreas secrete deoxyribonuclease. Nuclease is the enzyme which has secreted part the nucleic acid but if the nucleic acid is DNA so at the um, pancreas secrete deoxyribonuclease while if it is RNA so it can it secrete the ribonuclease in order to in order to convert the nucleic acid into smaller nucleotide 
सो दिस वॉज अबाउट ए हिस्टोलॉजी ऑफ इंक्रियाज इट हाउ फिंक्रियाज इट कंटेन इट्स इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर एंड हाउ इट्स सेंथिस इट्स डाइजस्ट टू एक्जोक्राइन फंक्शन एंड हाउ इट परफॉर्म इट्स एक्जोक्राइन फंक्शन बाय द सेंथिस ऑफ डिफरेंट डाइजस्ट इंजाइम्स एंड हाउ इट सिक्रीट सो आई होप दिस लेक्चर विल बी हेल्पफुल टू यू एंड इन शाला एंड नेशनल यू टाक अबाउट इंडोक्राइन फंक्शन एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट एनी क्वेश्चन इन दिस यू कैन मैंशन इन द कमेंट एंड डोंट फॉरगेट दिस सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर माई लेक्चर फॉर नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग लेक्चर प्लीज सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर